spoke about last week, we have a, uh, a fundraiser happening next uh, next Sunday uh, at Nears Tavern. That's on uh, July 17th, and that's going to take place uh, starting at 2 p.m. goes to 11 p.m. And it's a fundraiser for the Woodhaven Richmond Hill Volunteer Ambulance Corps. And uh, they are in real desperate need of a new defibrillator. And uh, they are, that's what this fundraiser is going to be about. And, and the, the folks at Nears have done a great job <clears throat> over the past year of uh, having fundraisers. And they're working together with the folks at the uh, Woodhaven Richmond Hill Volunteer Ambulance Corps. And uh, joining us now, uh, uh, calling in, is uh, uh, Kathy Sexton Dolby. Kathy, how yes. are you tonight? Good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what's your what's your title? You're you're the you're the president. I'm the president. The, uh... Yes. Okay. I'm the president. And, and now, now the the volunteer ambulance corps. I remember from the New York One interview. I mean, this is this is in your blood. This is in your family's. Uh, but tell us a little bit about uh, I guess the, the the history of the corps and 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 your family's relation to it. Well, the ambulance corps has been in operation since uh, 1965. And back in 1965, my mom and my dad were original founding members, um, along with other people who were involved through all these years. And we still have some members who have 30, 35 years with us. Um, And also at this time right now, it, it is definitely a family thing because I'm involved. My mom is still a dispatcher. Um, uh-huh. My brothers, both are members. My sister is one of my offices, and my mom is one of my offices, and my husband also is a uh, member. <laughs> so <laughs> it definitely is all in the family. <laughs> oh, that's, that's 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 great. And how many how many members are in the call right now? Right now, we have about uh, sixty five people. Um, our membership is growing. We have a lot of young people who are now joining to get experience for school, you know, for medical school, and they're doing the EMT training, which is really, really good for us because it's keeping the ambulance out and operational. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Thank you. So now explain, explain to, to, to our, our, some of our listeners who might not be familiar, what, uh, how does the Ambulance Corps function? I mean, it's a volunteer organization, but... When do you get uh, when do you get called to uh, to someone's house? Let's say, um, um, do you get to, do you get directed by the uh, um, by nine one one or do they call well, you directly? Lot, How does that work? There's a lot of different ways. Um, for the longest time, we always had um, the neighborhood people call us directly on our emergency phone, and mm-hmm. we can and people still call us on our emergency phone. Or 911 when we're out, you know, it's, you know, we listen to the radios. We also have, uh, we're part of a backup system where, you know, if people in Ridgewood or Glendale or Forest Hills, Jamaica Estates, you know, we all have, you know, uh, we all can go and help each other if we need to. If, say, Mm -hmm. one, one squad doesn't have an ambulance and we do, they can call us to come and help them. So there's okay. a lot of different ways. Speaking of this defibrillator now, what does, uh, I mean, I, I guess we, we've all seen it in, in TV shows where they, uh, you know, they, they put it against your, and that's when, when someone's having like a heart attack, right? Correct. When their heart well, has stopped. When, yes, when their heart has stopped. Uh, the defibrillator is a very, very expensive piece of equipment. Um, mm-hmm. It does run us between, uh, thirty five hundred and forty five hundred dollars, and wow. um, the expense of one because you also need to get all the accessories that go with it, wires, extra mm-hmm. battery, uh, what's called the pads, which is the uh, pieces that are actually stuck on the person. Um, mm-hmm. You need a lot of them because they do expire. So, you know, as time goes by, you have to constantly buy equipment for it. So, and it is a, a, a very desperate, desperately needed piece of equipment. Um, mm-hmm. That's one of the biggest things that everybody will tell you, that as long as you can, you know, if somebody's heart stops 
and you can be defibrillated, you have such a mm-hmm. higher chance of being brought back mm-hmm. than without it. Gosh, it's important you guys have this. I mean, oh, how absolutely. many how many calls how many calls uh, locally uh, in Woodhaven and Richmond Hill and such in the surrounding areas? How many calls uh, like a, an average week would you guys go out on? Well, right now, since we have been uh, getting the membership higher, the ambulance mm-hmm. has been going out more, which I am just so happy to see. But uh, last year alone, we did almost 500 calls just in the communities of Richmond Hill and Woodhaven. That's Very, wonderful. You know, and just part of Kew Gardens, but, you know, the majority was all Richmond Hill and, and Woodhaven. That's great. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's it, great. Yeah. So, it, you know, when the ambulance is out there, it's busy. <laughs> you guys have been a, a tremendous asset to the community. We are we are we are so uh uh so proud of all the work that you guys do, the good work. Thank and, you. And uh you know, we're we're very happy to see you get recognition and we uh we look forward to seeing you next Sunday and we're going to we're going to try and get as many people out there. Uh, and we encourage folks to come out, come out to Nears, and, uh, you know, and just hang out. There's, uh, you know, it, it, there's going to be barbecue, there's going to be music. Yep, uh, and some raffles, you know, we're getting, we're, we're working on also getting, you know, uh, raffle prizes and stuff. You know, and of course, you know, that's a little hard, but, you know, people are, you know, trying to help us with that also. Sure, So sure. it's good. <laughs> It's a it's a wonderful cause and a great way to spend a day. Kathy, I want to thank you for calling in. It's always a pleasure talking to you. You and, too, Ed. Uh, thank we'll, you. We'll be seeing you real soon. Okay, great, and I hope you feel better. <laughs> thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. All right. Take care. All right. Bye-bye, Bye-bye. Kathy. Bye-bye.